We all know that GPT-5 is currently out, but does GPT-5 bypass AI detectors? In today's video, I'll be doing a test to see if we can prompt GPT-5 to bypass the hardest detector, which is originally.ai. To prompt the AI, I will be using my low AI SEO prompts. So this allows the AI to write in a low AI SEO optimized format. If you want to use these prompts, I'll leave it in a description below today's video. And I'm using the platform and I'm also using the ChatGPT interface. So the prompt looks something like this. We're telling it to vary sentence length, avoid cliches, um, break up long sentences, include perplexity and briskness, and just instructions on how to write sounding like an actual human and not an AI. So I went ahead and prompted it, and this is the article in which we were able to get back from both spaces. So I'm going to copy over the first article that we got back from the ChatGPT interface. And we're going to do our first scan from the ChatGPT interface. So using ChatGPT.com, we got a score of 78% confidence. So it's likely AI, but that's not bad to be honest. It's obviously less than 100%. So it doesn't fully detect it as AI, but it is still a high percentage of AI confidence. And now we're going to test the content that we got back from the platform or the playground in OpenAI.com. So our first test, we got back 67% likely AI. If you just saw that and I removed something and then we got back 86%. So it looks like it kind of changed up on us a little bit there. Uh, first, it was a little bit less. So 63 and then it was 86. So not sure exactly what happened there. And that's sometimes what happens with AI detectors. There wasn't really a huge difference between using the platform and using the chat GPT interface. Both of them got a pretty high percentage that it was confident that it was AI. And just for fun, I also went ahead and used my own template in WordRocket, which allows you to generate low AI humanized blog post content. So we already have a pre-prompted template. We're not using GPT-5. We are using Claude 4. So let's go ahead and copy over this content and see how this compares to the other test that we got back from GPT-5. So the content that I got back from WordRocket was 69% confidence. So a little bit less than the GPT-5 model, but still fairly high. We are currently working to see how we can get this number to be a bit lower. But as you know, bypassing originality.ai is very, very difficult. Sometimes, you know, there's content that's actually human written that it gives a high AI likeliness. So we are still working on this, but I don't really put a huge emphasis on this on AI detection scores because I do not see it having a negative effect on rankings. Of course, if we're writing generic content, just you know, blasting it with the AI, your website, then that may have an effect. But if you're writing really in-depth, high quality content combined with images, combined with HTML elements, which is what my tool WordRocket does, by the way, if you haven't used it, it is an amazing, amazing tool you can use to um, automatically include internal links. And we also released a new template, which allows you to generate content with images baked into the images. And we actually provide that for completely free. So we take care of the image generation for you. All you do is pay for the text generation. But as you can see, you can generate beautiful articles that don't necessarily, you know, scream AI. Like for instance, this article is great because it is AI written, but these images are custom images. And that's what Google loves. And that's what ranks on Google. You can write with AI content, but you need to include custom images. You need to include your internal links. And we also have the option to include HTML custom elements uh, within your articles. So a lot of really cool features there. And that is what, again, allows you to rank. So I don't really focus too much on lowering AI detection scores. But as you can see from this test, GPT-5 does have a fairly lower um, AI confidence score. It's not 100%. It is a little bit lower. But overall, you're still being able to be detected, especially when using originality.ai. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Just wanted to do a little bit of a, a test uh, for you guys and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below i will continue to try to bypass ai detectors and if i find a way that works i will be sure to share it with you thank you guys and take care